Hey fellow owls, today we're going to go a little bit further into Facebook and if you already had a Facebook page prior to yesterday then last night was a really easy assignment. But today we're going to go a little further in depth and what we're going to do is talk about the tabs. Now the tabs will give you a couple of different things that you can use. You can add your social media networking that you already have and have e little separate entities for that or you can add some pages to your Facebook page that will give you some tools like join my team or maybe host a party. So let's get started. Before we begin cr actually creating the tabs on our Facebook page you'll first need to go get the images for the tabs that we're going to create. In order to do that go to the photos tab on the boot camp group page and go to the albums and select Facebook tab images. You'll then see all of the different ones that are available. When you click on each one of them, it'll give you the smaller size. It's actually going to be the size you're going to need. Right mouse click and save the image to your computer. So next, you're going to click on the link provided in the pinned post in order to get to Woodbox custom tabs. Once you're there, you will see the green button in the middle of the page. Simply click on Install Page Tab. It will open up into a new window where you will be able to select the page that we're going to add the tabs to. Once you've done that, you'll need to click off the box and then click Add Page Tab. Again, it'll open up a new window. And once it populates, what we're going to do is we're going to simply use the redirect feature. Now, there, as you can see, there are other ways that you can do this. If you know HTML, you can kind of play around a little bit more in here. But if not, the most simple thing to do is to use redirect. And now what it is asking for is the actual URL that we're going to redirect to. So if we decide to do join our team as an app or a tab on our Facebook page, what we're going to do is simply click on join our team and go to the apply button. Once we're there, you'll see that it's where we want people to join. Go up into your URL, copy, highlight, and copy the URL, and then we're going to go back to this page here and we're going to paste it into our box. We're going to click Save Settings, and then we're going to click on the page itself to go back to the beginning. So now you will see that it has a welcome box. It says welcome and a, a picture of, I guess they're spotlights. So in order to release it to be able to edit that button, you're going to need to click on this little down arrow box right here. So when you click over on top of that, you'll be able to hover and now you see an edit button. Click on the edit button and we're going to edit settings. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to change the tab image. So we're going to click on the change. Yet again, another window is going to open. Hover over the image. Again, click edit. It's going to allow you to choose a file. These are the settings that you have to have for the particular image, but we've already provided those to you. So we're going to click on Choose File. You're going to go to where you put all of the images that you needed or wanted on your computer. And in this case, we're going to do Join Our Team because that's the link that we've already provided. We'll double click on Join Our Team, and there it pops in. Once that's done, you're just going to close out this particular page, and it'll go back. And here we're going to type in join my team and click save and then OK. Now you see that it is populated and it says join my team. In order to keep it from staying in the edit mode, simply click on the arrow again and it will be fine. Now when someone clicks on it, what's going to happen is now because I'm an admin, it's actually um, asking me if I want to be directed. I'm going to say yes or OK just so you can see what happens, it goes directly to that page. So it's really a great app to be able to utilize. So now what we want to do is return back to our page that we've created, and this time we're going to click on our button again, but this time when it says we want to be redirected, we're going to say cancel. 
because what we want to be able to do is get to the settings area right here. There's stats and settings. You're going to click on settings. And then you're going to scroll to the bottom and it says install another tab. And I can install 10 more tabs or 9 more tabs. So I'm going to go over here to page number 2. It'll open up another page again. It'll ask me to select on my page one more time. Click off, add page tab. Once again, we're going to use the redirect feature. So I'm going to go back to my Origami Owl website. And this time, I want to for everyone to be able to shop online. So I'm going to simply take and copy my URL, my replicated URL website. And then we're going to go back to this particular page. Again, we're going to post the URL in the area and hit save settings. I'm going to go back to the page again. Scroll down just a little bit. Again, we've got to fix this section. So we're going to click on the down arrow, release the edit feature, click on edit, edit settings. We're going to change the tab one more time. Hover over, edit, and we're going to choose the file. This time it's shop online because that's the one we're going to put and we'll place that. It pops up, close out this window, and do shop now. Save, click OK, and there we go, have it. So now someone coming to our page can not only do join our team, but they can also shop online. Here we have uh, the actual the Laura's page and just so you can see we actually have nine tabs active and as you can see you can add as many as you want to you can redirect to all of the your social media outlets just whatever you want to do so have fun and add whatever tabs you want to do you can do two you can do three or however many you want but have fun with it so now you've got some new tools for Facebook tomorrow we'll continue with that so see you then Rodney, oh, Rodney. I love the Rodaleo.